A 16 year old boy had blunt trauma and there is a rupture of posterior capsule. The anterior capsule is intact. How to go about this case? I asked Dr. Lab of Kolkata about how to manage this case and he said in such cases where there are rupture of posterior capsule in young patient we need not do hydro dissection. Let me repeat, in such cases we must not do hydro dissection. After capsulorixis, we will just aspirate the cortex with a Simco cannula or bimanual irrigation aspiration. We will not do hydro dissection. In my opinion, Simco cannula is a gentle instrument in such cases. We can control the fluid flow, we can aspirate, aspiration can be controlled better with a Simco cannula. But in expert hands, bimanual IA is also okay. So, in this case, I had to struggle a bit for Rexis. However, with the help of this uterita forceps, I am able to do the rexis and little jerky pulls gives me better control to do a rexis in such cases. The size of this rexis is about 5.5 millimeter and it is adequate. And immediately I go with the Simco cannula. This is a 23 gauze Simco and see how easily the lens matter comes. No need of hydro dissection because hydro dissection is, has already happened. Posterior capsule is ruptured, fluid has gone into the lens mass and all the lens matter is loose. And most of the cortical matter can be aspirated before vitreous prolapse. Till now, vitreous prolapse is not there. And now the vitreous is tending to prolapse. And I see a huge rent extending from 4 o'clock to 10 o'clock. I go through the side port and able, I am able to aspirate some more cortex from 10 o'clock. At this time, I find there is some vitreous prolapse and I regurgitate a bit of lens matter and come out. Now, I inject visco. The vitreous goes back and now I want to aspirate the cortex from 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock. So I did a side port at 7 o'clock and with low flow I go with the Simco cannula and aspirate this cortex. some fibers I caught and there is a rent now. You can see a round opening uh, inferiorly there is the rupture of the anterior hyaloid. I inject some more visco and the cortex comes out and we just have to remove this cortex at 1 o'clock. And this one, this aspiration of the, this cortex, I am doing dry aspiration. Without irrigation, I am trying to aspirate this and I could do it. So, I have been able to aspirate the lens matter without hydrodissection. Thank you very much for your attention.